My name is Leslie Linball, though in the online world I'm known as 1% Yellow. This video is created for Dr. Alec Koros's ECI 831 class and reflects my attempt to become a social artist. Through this project, I hope to connect individuals from my undergraduate university, the Augustana campus of the University of Alberta, with individuals from the University of Mary Washington, who are exploring the possibilities for liberal arts education online. The point of contact between these two schools is their mutual membership in the Council of Public Liberal Arts Colleges, or COPELAC. In part two of this series, we look at the question, what is liberal arts? I'm a product of liberal arts education all the way through. Liberal arts has got a real window on, on the world right now. Um, so to you, what is a liberal arts university and what are some of the key concepts that you see as a part of liberal arts? Wow, a big question. <laughs> I think the key to a liberal arts education is... A liberal arts education should have to do with some kind of intellectual uh, emancipation. That's how I understand the liberal part of a liberal arts education, is that it liberates you. Well, what does it liberate you from? It liberates you from a very narrow way of looking at things, or it liberates you from, uh, this is a funny way to put it, but it liberates you from confines of your own mind and your own experience. And what do we mean by liberal arts? On one side, there is no limit. Uh, it has to go beyond the, the cultural barriers into other cultures, other perspectives. To understand our, our own reasons for, for acting, so to get beyond ideology, to get beyond the, the commonplace. Getting people to see the big pictures, and uh, there's many, many ways you can do that. Um, bringing in students and professors from a variety of disciplines and academic backgrounds. Um, encouraging interaction between people that generally would not interact. Science, arts, math computer, all that, and then having um, a collective learning that comes from that sort of interaction. What do we mean by liberal arts? Liberal arts education is a sort of common core uh, canon uh, of some sort, um, and, and counter canon, if, if you will, but um, a core set of values that we're trying to teach that encourages broadness rather than simply narrow specialty. It embraces the breadth of learning, but at the same time has instructors with the depth of knowledge that allow students to explore particular areas of interest for greater understanding. If you have a liberal arts background, you should be able to see a, a question or an issue from multiple sides, which doesn't mean that you agree with them all, but you can see them from multiple sides. But the way I think about it is it's usually a small, teaching-centered, um, intimate classroom that also innovates around the process of delivery and gives students a certain amount of freedom in the paths they pursue and how they go about that. You gotta think outside the box and I think that's what liberal arts education is all about. What do we mean by liberal arts? In a professional school you're trying to train people for a specific job. And a liberal arts education doesn't train you for a job. That one thing is really important but I'll put it um, positively, what it does is it uh, educates you to be a well-rounded human being. It all goes back just to the whole person education. It's supposed to teach you the arts of personhood. It's not a science, becoming a person. It's an art, and there's many different ways to do it. Well, for me, it's probably because of my formation in philosophy. Uh, it really has to do with um, the tradition of humanism, you know, dating back to the, the Renaissance and the Enlightenment. Um, which ultimately, I think, makes them not only better chemists or whatever you do when you have a chemistry degree, but better um, equipped to be a full and active uh, citizen and participant in the evolution of our society. What do we mean by liberal arts? Interdisciplinarity, so that you have a background where you're able to communicate and work with uh, anyone or anyone from from any kind of background. Though that may imply accepting an opposing political view, religious view, philosophical or aesthetic view. And I, I, I love it to, to be sitting out in the jungle in Costa Rica and having students talk about what it means to be involved in, in conservation but also what in the world did history have to tell me about what I'm doing here? 
and they're open to that, even though they're bio geeks. What do we mean by liberal arts? If COPLAC is the sort of benchmark, the difference between the U.S. and Canada is actually fairly marked in terms of the level of the general education or what we're calling the long standard core. Um, that there is a significant difference there. Ours is much lighter, actually. Uh, it's a little bit gen ed is really predefined and formulaic. The other thing that people often say about liberal arts education at a liberal arts university is that it teaches you to think critically and teaches you to think for yourself. I think that's true, but I think increasingly uh, the business about a liberal arts education, one of the things I don't like about that term is it sounds too individualistic. And I think that people who are educated at a liberal arts and sciences place should come to realize their education should help them realize that knowledge and uh, um, Cognition takes place in cognitive communities, takes place in communities. So it's never, you don't learn very much on your own, let's face it. And even when you're learning something on your own, like especially in a discipline like mine, where you spend a lot of solitary time reflecting, um, there's like this invisible host of people and conversations behind you, either from the past or the conversations that you're having, like I'm having with you right now, but I'll go back to my office and think about it. And thinking about these conversations is certainly something that I've been doing since I conducted the first interview with Jerome Melancon back in mid-November. As I move through the editing process of this video series, I am also broadening and deepening my own understanding of liberal arts education, fleshing out a series of descriptive words put together by the University of Mary Washington. Janet's closing comment brings us nicely to the next video, which will discuss the role of community in the liberal arts context.